last video, uh, plus one that I watched from a friend up in Canada, got me thinking about how to utilize some of these some of these ferro rods. They're still I still got them drying up there. But uh, I've had this walking stick for a while. It's uh, it's hardwood stick. Um, I was uh, I was gifted this from uh, a World War II veteran who used it when he was out hiking. When he uh, couldn't couldn't use it anymore I uh, he gave it to me he had a he had a bare bare end on the stick I put a cane put a cane tip on the on the end of it but other than that it's it's completely unchanged so I've had this knife it's a very good knife. It's a Ontario. It's Ontario's version of the RTAC. Ontario builds the RTAC for Randall Adventures training, and this is the Ontario version of that knife. This is the TAC One, and this has been a really good knife. But uh, I tend to carry smaller knives with me um, when I'm out and about. But that last trip into the woods, um, actually speaking, it scared me. It really did. I uh, I was only on 300 acres. Um, all I, I knew that all I had to do was go find find a fence. The fence was fences are going to run north, south, east, and west. Uh, I just had to walk south and uh, and find the creek bed and uh, and f then follow the creek bed and it'll take me straight to a road. I knew all those things. You know, I wasn't. I'm not. Uh, uh, I wasn't in an impossible situation, but. Um, uh, completely under that uh, forest canopy, uh, stomping, stomping through briars, so you couldn't, you couldn't walk in a straight line. You had to walk around. Um, you know, if you had a choice of going through ten feet of briars, that um, um, each each one of them has over a hundred stickers that uh, that make you bleed. Or take another route around where they aren't quite so thick. Uh, you tend to go around them instead of stomping straight through them. So that's the that's the um, the method that I used. This stick is it was three feet to that tie off, and then. Um, there's another 19 inches, so three feet. This is four, four and a half plus one inch. It's uh, f thirty-six, forty-eight plus six inches, and then almost an inch. So it's um, it's almost five foot long. Uh, I've got. I've got some, um, some big, it's a two and a half inch dial um, compass that fits on a lanyard. And what I intend to do, what I intend to do up here, so I've got some more, of, I got a bunch of this uh, um, fine grain leather. So I'm going to. 
I'm going to take I'm going to take this and wrap take this and wrap a handle and with this piece right here I could probably do this piece right here I could do a foot I gotta do a foot of this handle so um, yeah that'd make a good handhold got leather I've got a whole bunch of uh, leather lacing so I'll wrap I'll straighten out straighten out the cuts and I'll wrap this up I'll punch some holes you know cut it the right width punch some holes on each side and then just lace this up like a ball glove and um, have a foot long leather um, hand grip and in the middle of that I'll uh, I'll put extra uh, lacings through so that I can tie um, uh, plan on putting a uh, set of ranger beads in here and that compass and down here I've already I've already got a knife and a ferro rod and with a four foot stick um, you can do quite a bit of stuff test test how deep water holes are um, you can use the stick to push branches away um, lots of things lots of things you can do with a stick in fact I've got a a coat hook a single it's a small wrought iron coat hook that I think I'm gonna build into this end and you can use that to reach up and pull a branch down um, so if you want to if you want to pick fruit or get a branch out of the way for fishing session or anything like that just having a hook on one end is uh, is a pretty convenient option to have built into it and then it you know it'll fit it'll fit in your hand so that it doesn't uh, uh, it won't bother your grip any so this is going to be my walking stick and I think this is actually going to be more uh, this is actually going to be more versatile and functional than any pack that I uh, carry around so ideas ideas come out of nowhere I wasn't uh, wasn't even planning on using this for anything um, about two hours ago and and now I've got I've got it about half built the only thing that I really did was this uh, back of the sheath has got got a molly strap going down the back of it and uh, I went around um, this was a this was a tie off so that you could tie the sheath to your leg I've never done that with a knife so I secured it there the the stick had a bend in it and that that worked really well to um, to make a relief for this snap down this end and then I just I just went up in multiple points to uh, to secure the sheath to the stick the top top three are uh, they bend the nylon or around as far as it goes and um, yeah it worked pretty slick I'm what I might what I might do with this is take these leather straps off and uh, replace them replace them with some uh, small diameter um, bank line. I've got uh, I got spools and spools of this stuff. Might uh, I got some really heavy, the real heavy version. 
but uh, this is a hundred this is a hundred some pound test and this is this will do quite a bit for for what I have to do plus it's less it's less noticeable and it holds a knot better than this knot than this uh, this leather does should be able to make put the knot up up into the into this uh, fold and keep it off of the back side but I wanted to prove a concept first um, after that I can uh, I can switch materials around but this is pretty much a final a final resting spot for the knife and and the, this leather is uh, is a pretty good pretty good fit already for uh, for this handle up here so we're already two hours in and we're already uh, well down the path of uh, completing it okay see ya